be rolling. Hi, I'm Joe from the Queers with B Face and Hugh. And you're watching What's the Story? So, what we want to know thanks. is What's the Story? Hello, this week on What's the Story, we got a special show for you. We have a greatest hits show. So, all the greatest videos that we played on the show, you're going to see right now. But we're doing it in a special format. We're doing it as a game show called Damn You're Stupid. <laughs> this is for all of our cast members. And if they don't know the name of the video, then they look stupid. <laughs> so, right now, we're going to interview our first two contestants. Oh, yeah? Damn! You're stupid! <laughs> anyway, we're going to go right into our next uh, band and question. In this video, the band members sing about one of their childhood idols. No. This band's name is a takeoff of an unseen character in the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Still nothing. We move on to our third question. This video is a spoof of the popular Right Now video by Eddie and his gang. You know what? Damn! You guys are stupid! Okay, we got Nerf Herder coming up with Van Halen. We're back. You just saw another video. Right now we have uh, Dan Garcia joining us. He's never been here before. Dan, you've been here for a while. Do you pick your nose? Only in front of you. Okay. Dan, uh, why do you wear a wallet chain? Don't you know that those things are out of style? Only because you're wearing one. Oh, okay, great. So, right I now... I want to be like you. Really? You want to be like me? I want to be the star of the show. You want to have sex with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we're not using that. Right now. We're not using that. <laughs> right now, we're going to go ahead and say, Greg, you're still with us. Greg, damn, you're stupid. <laughs> you didn't get that last video. Okay, right now, we're going to go ahead and go straight into this video and question. This is an all female band <laughs> from the San Francisco Bay Area. Dan? Um, Luscious Jackson? Oh, no, sorry, uh, you're wrong. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm stupid. Next question. <laughs> this band's name is a takeoff of a famous painter. Nothing. Okay. This video features former members of the cast from the popular TV series The Love Boat. <laughs> Greg! Van Gogh's daughter? Do you know the name of the song? No, I don't. All right. Well, then the name <laughs> of the song is Van Gogh's daughter through the eyes of Julie. Okay, Greg, you're out of here. Who's next? Hi, welcome aboard. I'm Julie. She's got the wild horses running inside her head. She's got the big white castle that surrounds her bed After a child that she's got Her own philosophy And if you ask her, she'll say Who needs reality? Broken needles Scattered across the floor I think about the consequences Cause I know that she never will Tell her to the wild horses They're gonna drag her
it with um, Screw 32 and the Groovy Ghoulies. Groovy Ghoulies are on Lookout Records with us. And, uh, yeah, the tour's going pretty wild. Uh, uh, yeah, two and a half weeks we've been on the road. and we Here we are at the Trocadero to play with the mighty NoFX tonight, who we haven't played with. We've only played with them once in our life, and that was four years ago at the University of New Hampshire. So this promises to be the battle of the titans tonight, the queers with the... We're, we're kind of we're opening up for no effects, so we're kind of backed into the corner tonight. So we're gonna have to come out. We're gonna have to come out playing our butts off, if we can. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> if I can talk tonight, but very, or sing, very but diverse crowd tonight, right? Yeah, it promises to be this. Yeah, there's gonna be a real, real uh, cool, cute mix of people out there today. So <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of interesting because no effects. I have no idea how much. Our audience overlaps, but certainly we see a lot of no FX shirts out there on the road. So um, I don't know it, it's going to be fun, and, and Screw 32 and Ghoulies. We've had a fun tour. We're going to go home. Awesome. We've been out off and on for seven months now, or by the time we get home, three, four weeks will be seven months. Um, we're just going to probably rehearse, do the occasional show this summer, and take it easy and do demos and stuff. So I don't know. If we're lucky, we'll get a new album done this summer, and if not, we're d we don't have any pressure on us from Lookout or, or, or you know, we're doing really good, so um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we'll have some stuff coming out in the fall. How do you feel about the big media blitz that you guys are getting? Um, ever since the release of No Back Down, uh, I saw an article in Rolling Stone about you guys. Um, you know, a lot of magazines have been writing to you about the album. The album is it's great, I and mean, it's one of the considered one of the best indie albums of the year. Um, what do you? How do you feel about that? I mean, you know, it's like um, some people gave us flack. You know, in the punk circles, uh, we were talking about this earlier, but um, about you know, oh, Rolling Stone or whatever. They approached us. You know, Ira Robbins, the writer, asked if we would want to do a story, and we said, yeah, sure, we do. You know, we didn't. You know, that's cool, and. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, basically our crowd um, has grown every tour we go go out anyway, and we're a really good draw right across the country now. Um, yeah, it's been fine, you know. I mean, it basically you got to be your own worst critic, and so we know it was a good album, so uh, we're pretty happy with it. And um, so it didn't really, like I say, you got to be your own worst critic. So when you put out something that's crap, you got to be ready to accept it. And when you put out something like Don't Back Down, we're pretty much happy with it. There might have been a few changes, minor, but it didn't surprise me. And I don't mean that in an arrogant, conceited way. It didn't surprise me because we knew we had a good album. So, you know, we're pretty happy with it. You know, we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. We have the Battle of the Chicks. We got Melissa and Zoya. They're going to battle it out. So let's see. Right now, we have this band gave us our first non local band promotion. Okay. This band sings about putting square objects into circular holes. Okay. This ska band on Goggins Records. Their album is called Midgets with Guns. Oh, you guys are stupid! Wait, is it soda? <laughs> no, it's not soda. Okay, you guys, damn you're stupid! Okay, Ow. this is 
This is Square Pegs by Pain. Hey, we're back again. Aren't you happy to see us? Right now, we've got Greg coming back for more. And Zoya, damn, you're stupid. All right, right now, we're going to go straight into our first question. We got, in this video, all the band's members are dressed up like lounge singers. Okay, we're going to go. Space Hawks. No, but thanks for trying. Okay, next question. Each band member in this band does a solo at the same time. Okay, we'll keep going. <laughs> this song is a takeoff of the 1950s classic, Let's Go to the Hop. Zoya. Is it Let's Go to the Hop? No, it's not. But you're not even close. All right. This video. <laughs> I'll give you guys one more chance. This video is about smoking bad things. Damn! You guys are stupid. Okay. Stupid, they're mentally challenged. Say it. That they are. They are stoned to the bone because this video is Dash Rip Rock doing Let's Go. That wraps up this week's show. And you know what? I'm really glad you stuck around and watched. Thanks to everybody and the crew, and especially to Greg. He's a good guy for hanging out with us. And thanks for Dan for whistling while I'm talking. I really appreciate it. And Melissa for clapping. It's for, oh, Dan again. Oh, oh, thank you so much. I love you all. All right, let's cut it out now. OK. Right now, I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Thank you to our sponsor, The Ticket, your arts and entertainment guide to the Fremont, Union City, and Newark area. Yeah, The Ticket. Okay, right now, after all that, I want to say thanks to Bell Plastics. It's going to be, like, some place right there. Anyway, and here comes our credits. Remember, stick around and uh, look for our address and call us because we have free stuff. Local man, send me your stuff. That's it. Bye.
Okay, thanks a lot.